tough home loss. I'm, I'm disappointed. You know, we had a stretch there in the first half where we uh, had a few too many turnovers and, and gave up, obviously, way too many three-pointers. And um, uh, I thought that our kids, you know, played a little bit better defense, even though the 81 points we gave up doesn't uh, show that. And, and um, But, you know, kind of disappointing. I thought we had... We took more shots. We just didn't make shots, and, and they uh, made us pay every time that uh, we had a defensive lapse. That's got to be frustrating, too. I mean, focusing on defense and then having a team come out and hit, not only take 29 threes, but make 13 of them, especially down the stretch, And you know, when you got within single digits. It is. I mean, and, and part of it is you could say, oh, they just had a great night. No, they're a great three-point shooting team. They're very good at it. Um, and, and part of that is they were taking a lot of open three-point shots. And so, uh, you know, we've got to find a way to to make some corrections there. And, and we just had some defensive lapses, I felt like, where we just, you know, kind of, um, you know, we knew who we could double off of on Ashley Luke down in the post, and we knew who we couldn't do that off of. But uh, we didn't always show that that, and, and um, at times we were kind of double teaming off of the wrong people, and they were making us pay. You got a lot out of Kelly, and obviously like missing Nicole, and it seems like a lot of the offense came a little too late. I mean, is this just one of those days where you see those holes from injuries? Well, I think we could use injuries as an excuse, or we could kind of make it part of our story and, and find a way to kind of bounce back. And, and at, at this point, that's what we need to do is, is we're, we're starting to kind of re-identify roles um, with Heidi Hoff's injury and with Nicole being out. And, and um, at this point, we need to start kind of getting comfortable and having some of those other players that are getting their opportunity really step up and, and be solid, a little bit more solid defensively and, and make plays for us offensively. Do you feel like overall, I mean, despite the threes, um, do you feel like the defensive effort was a little bit better tonight? I did. You know, I did. I really felt like, especially, you know, from our post players, I thought they did a great job of being in a stance and making things hard for Ashley Luke um, all night long. And I think that it was a good team effort, kind of locking in and focusing on her. But uh, this is a team that they can pick their pick your poison. You know, if you, if you want to go single coverage down there on Luke, then she's probably going to have a heyday. If you want to try to throw, throw some help at her, we could do a pretty good job on her defensively. And then uh, they're hitting three, 13 threes on you, so it's 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 a tough uh, guard and it's a tough kind of dilemma to be in, and, and I think that um, they did a great job of executing that. Given the circumstance, it probably would have been easy to fold up the, the fact that you came in with, with three losses in a row and then seeing the team hitting shots like they were tonight, but uh, if nothing else, mm -hmm. you take out of this that, that your girls showed some fight and got it back within six and single digit a couple, uh, a couple of different times. Yeah, I was really glad to see that. I thought that um, there was some good leadership out of, you know, some underclassmen. Margaret McLeod was really uh, instrumental in, in um, kind of huddling our girls and kind of rallying the troops. And I thought Kelly gave us a huge spark just uh, by, you know, hustling until the final bus buzzer and, and going after, you know, one possession. I think she had four offensive rebounds. Just a, you know, kind of uh, that type of effort will um, rub off on teammates. It kind of um, makes them believe that, hey, she's going to go to battle for me and I want to go to battle for her too. And I think that, um, you know, that was good to see out of our kids, even though it wasn't great offensive night for us. We didn't, you know, shoot the ball particularly well. We didn't execute all the time. We gave up some easy easy three-point shots, uh, but to see that fight was a good thing. Uh, Nicole status? Um, it's still day-to-day. -day. I, I know she won't be back this week, and, and we'll have to see and reevaluate next week. Is there um, absence? Does that affect the defense a bit a little bit, too? Uh, uh, there's no question. There's no question. I mean, she's an experienced player that, you know, defensively just, you know, when you are, uh, any time that you're replacing um, junior minutes with a lot of freshman minutes, then um, there's going to be some drop-off, just a learning curve of just kind of having to learn, you know, 
defense, but but Nicole is an, is a very intelligent basketball player. She knows how to play a scouting report. She knows that if this player is right hand dominant, that she can jump on that shoulder and and you know because of that she's uh, she's a very solid defender and and has always kind of been that and and so you know we we do miss that um, that defensively you know from her. What has to happen Saturday to be able to? Uh get that first conference win and, and get off the street? Well, we just have to come back, and, and we've got to find a way to stay together right now. And, and you know, Omaha's going to come in here on Saturday and play quite a bit of zone defense, I uh, can imagine. And, and so we're going to have to be able to um, execute very well and, and probably shoot the ball a little bit better from the perimeter against their zone. And, and uh, they have a great shot blocker inside and, and Kelly. And, and so we're going to have to, you know, find ways to attack her and, and be able to be productive in the paint even uh, with a very good shot blocker in there. Any more questions? Good. Thanks, Thanks Amy. Amy. Thanks. Thanks.